Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is Sunshine on Leith, episode 66. And hope we get our kicks here in ep 66, because we are in for two important games. Let's go have a look. First off, we're going to look at the schedule here. First off, we have Rangers, and we are in a com currently in a position to win the league if we can get at least two points. I think it's two points. 91, 13, yes. If we can get at least two points. So we need to win to win the league. Well, win the league right now. I mean, we'll win the league eventually, but if we want to win the league today, we need to beat Rangers. And, of course, Celtic in the Europa League after that marvelous draw. So let's hope things go well. Uh, we are actually going to risk things just a little bit against um, against Rangers here. I'm using the same team that I used in the Morton match. We won, which we won handily, by the way, uh, six one. Not a not a real issue. Lucas Janouth had four goals in the first half, um, along with uh, Goran Smith. It was six nothing at the half, so or six one at the half. So it was it was really not a close game in any way. Um, Rangers our today's game. Yes, so th what I've done is kept the team that I used to play against um, oh, except I think I will change Broadweight out for Ripley. There we go. Um, kept the team that I've used, the backup team, right, the second team, White, Ambrose, Hanlon and Brown, Agor, McGee, Taren McGarden, Smith, and Chenouth. Now the problem is that Cammy, uh, Callum Crane is injured. He's out for a couple of months. So he's done for the season. Um, isn't he? No. He's not. Why did I think that? That's weird. Huh. I thought he was out. Okay. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Yeah, okay. So they'll have to do, and we'll see how they get on. But um, I wonder, actually, maybe I'll stiffen the defense just a little bit and put in Kutsi and Kak. They're in good shape. And I think can handle back-to-back -back games. I mean, if Hanlon and Ambrose can handle it, then certainly Kak and Kutsi can. Kak and Kutsi can. Mm. Um... Yeah, let's go. Right, we're in the dressing room. They're playing a wild formation. Pick up where they left off. Come on, lads, the title will be ours if we manage a win. Try this? No, I think we'll go with the one above. Come on, lads, the lit title will be ours if we manage a win. Well, I got a couple of them. Okay, well, that's all right. They're not excited about winning. Good job. Uh, I don't think it matters too much. You already asked me that question. Okay. It's funny, you know, I'm not really all that nervous in this one because, you know, we're going to win the league. We're we're still 11 points clear of Celtic. Even if we lost today, we're still 11 points clear of Celtic with four four games to go. So we're going to win the league. It's just a question of, um, of time, but it'd be nice to win it here. <coughs> oh, Keck, what's wrong with you? Why were you churning so slowly toward where you needed to be? Smith, a wide for White. White's all the way up and finds... Oh! Anyway, ends up in Janelle's feet and he bangs it into the net. I 
believe, by the way, that we've got four 20-goal scorers on this team, and a couple of them are almost 30 goals. Well, one of them's got more than 30 goals, but this is a, a team that can score. Somebody wouldn't mind putting a tackle in, perhaps, if you wouldn't be so kind. That's not good. Oh, there we go. Kutzi makes the cut. Smith. Wow, look at him run through. Nice try. Fitness will be an issue in this game for us, I think. I don't think anybody was much better than 92% fit when we started the game, so it's, you know, we're going to be tired. But not our center-back pairing, which is important. You've probably figured out, if you've been watching for any length of time, that I'm not what you might call a tactical genius or a tinkerer. <coughs> I don't mess about a whole lot. I don't change the tactic at all. The tactic has been the same for now for four years um, and has been, I think, extremely effective. Um, what I consider myself as a manager is somebody who is really good at the man management part of things. I'm good at what to say in team talks, as we see. Uh, I'm good at managing dynamics and, and that kind of thing, and I think that that's part of what's making us win so much. At least, you know, I mean, obviously I think so because it's what I'm doing, but... So I don't claim to be any kind of tactical genius. I don't worry about making all kinds of special instructions and, and everything else. I just put people into the places where they want to play and let them play. so weird. I wonder why. Did I, like, dream that Callum Crane got injured? That's so weird. No. Do, do, do. Come on, shut him down. Shut him down. Shut him down. No, you didn't shut him down. This isn't good. They're out shooting us. We shouldn't be having be out shotness. Pretty sure that's not a word. Joel Campbell, Pena, Ingebrigtsen, Ingebrigtsen, Joel Campbell, Barrett, Ingebrigtsen, cleared. Janelle has got it. Oh, lost it. Wow, why is Keck moving so slowly today? Damn. It's twice now I've seen Keck churning hard to try and get somewhere, but he's not making any moves. I don't know what's wrong with him. Here, watch him. They're right there, right there. See, he has to churn to catch up, and he doesn't. Because he doesn't, they're able to get that. One point won't do it. We need to win to get the to win the league. Wah off the bar. Whew. Well, I can start bringing on some guys now. Like Toyama and Slivka and Gumni, the young Pole is now listed as one of our best players despite being here on loan. <coughs> This 
this is quite a wonderfully England international team. We've got English, Polish, South African, Swedish, and Scottish in the back line. Magarten, Toyama. Oh no! Yuki. How did you miss that? Oh, Gumni's gotten booked. Well, maybe we won't win the league today, but that's okay. Maybe we won't. Nope. Why is it there? center backs can run like hell. Oh, what a ball! Oh my goodness, what an absolutely delightful ball by Slivka. Through ball for Chenelth, and that is in the net, and we are back in the lead. What a ball. Right here, Slivka. One touch to steady it. Second one, perfect through ball. Greatly timed run by Chenelth. Wonderful. Just excellent. It's nice when your second striker, your backup striker, can get it yourself, get you a couple of goals. <coughs> All the way up. Come on, all the way up. Toyama to Chinouth. Let him get his hat trick. That'd be funny. <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Thought Slivka was going to get one there. Wow, look at the fouls. Holy crap. We've committed 16 fouls. <laughs> but we've won the game and won the league, and that is all we needed. So there we go. Won the game, won the league. Played very well indeed. You have sealed the title with your performance today. Sorry about the noise. There appears to be a street sweeper going by outside. Noisy buggers. Ah, <sighs> we did it, we did it, we did it. We've won the championship. Hurrah! Sunshine on Leith. How's that? Oh my goodness, that's noisy. Wow, each time I think it's peaked, it gets louder. That's terrible. Anyway, Hibernian win the Premiership. Woohoo! Post match press conference. I'm absolutely delighted. Nope. Extra pressure? Oh, yeah. Bring it on. Well, I think that's hardly fair out of absolutely nowhere. We were second favorites, 2-1, to 3-1, to one, with Celtic and us. So, yeah, we're going to establish ourselves. Uh, I think it definitely helped. Uh, I just have to light the fuse and off they go. Uh, it shows they got stuck in. That's fine. Static. First win for Hibernian since 1952. Okay? 1952. 70 years. But I broke that streak. Yay! Delighted with Premiership win. And look at the last, the winners, competition history. <laughs> <laughs> We've broken quite a string. It looks like 10 years. Yeah, 10 years that uh, Celtic has been winning constantly. And if you look back further, it's been... Ooh, 84-85 since anybody but Celtic or Rangers won. So that's a pretty good win, I'd say. So the Scottish Premiership is not an easy league to win. So I feel pretty good about this. You were superb. Well done, buddy. Good job, good job, good job. Cool, he's looking at some more of our guys for the for Scotland. I'd love to see Cammy Smith get called up. He's a great player. Anyway, 
Um, yeah, I wanted to have a quick peek at the squad in terms of the goal scoring. Check this out. 31, 24, 20, and 20. I'd say that's quite a performance. I'm really pleased with this. All right, I will be back in a moment with the crucial Europa League Celtic match. Ooh, baby. Welcome back. It's time for the Celtic match. We have um, pretty much an entirely new team, except Ripley, Keck, and Kutsi stay in. We've got Crane and Gumni on the wings. Poyet behind McGinn, Toyama, Melendo, Slivka, and Cotton up front. Let's roll. Dressing room. Hmm. Oh, I got caught and nobody else. Hmm. That's not ideal. He's just being rested. I didn't even see who it was, but whoever it is is being left out because they're being rested, because everybody who's out is somebody who is tired. Come on, boys. Doing well. Keep it up. Oops, he missed that one completely. Toyama finds Gumni. Back in Toyama. He doesn't have any space. Crane has space. Out on the left. His cross. No good. Here we go, stolen ball. Melendo back for Gumni. Good job, Slivka. Wide for Crane. Can he get into space? No. McGinn, back to Crane in space this time. And the header is in. Slivka. Making the most of our possession. We're up by one. Liverpool, meanwhile, are up by one on Leicester away. So unsurprisingly it probably will be Liverpool to come through that match. That tie, I should say. Oh, Gumni, well done. Cotton, Slivka. Cotton. Oh, what a pass. McGinn. It's a good save. It was a good save. Melendo. Can you beat the first man? Nope. <laughs> McGinn. Crunched by three players. Gumni. Whoa, referee. Yeah, that's going to get him off. Yep. He's gone. Bye-bye. So sad. Oh, and it meant they took off Dwamina as well. That's awesome. He's a threat. And the best part is, Tierney will now miss the next game too. Gumni? No, Melendo. Gumni. Back inside from again as we retain possession. Oh, Cotton finds Crane. Good save. Oh, and again we can't beat the first player. That's not good. We are not taking good corners. Half time. Okay. Oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Nope, still stressed. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. Toyama. Out wide for Crane, and it's gonna stop here. 
There we go. Given that he's looking nervous, why can't I get to my tactics screen, please? Given that he's looking nervous and quite tired, I'm going to bring on McGeech in the middle. And, hmm. I think that's going to do it for now. No, Gumni's really tired. He's played well, but he's tired. Let's let him out. Waste a little time with a sub. Oh, Smith. Ruslivka. Wow, what a kick. Too bad we didn't get the second ball, but... Thankfully, Keck is not running in mud today, so... Oh, wow, what a pass. Melendo, no, 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 buddy. Ugh. Really would have liked a second goal there. Keck, again. Cotton, Smith, Brown, no. Great build-up play, but no final ball. Oh, well. Still a win. I'll take it. Good win, boys. Well done. Good job. Good job. Let's go. All right. That's a pretty decent episode. 2-0 for Liverpool over Leicester. Looks like they might be our opponents. If we get through. I would say that was pretty good. All right. So we'll be back. I'm going to play the Kilmarnock match offline, obviously. With the league already won, it doesn't matter. And uh, we'll be back for Celtic. And I think I'll do it as a single game um, episode. I won't bother with the Hearts, Aberdeen, and, and Celtic matches either. Um, we'll just do Celtic, um, probably on extended highlights, and then we'll finish up with... Um, or maybe we'll finish up maybe Celtic and Aberdeen at the same time. No, there's no point, because... Um, mm, there'll be a, a Europa League final to worry about, too. Maybe. Well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you did, please drop a like, hit subscribe. Both the things help the channel out enormously if you haven't done them already. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. Thank you. I hope you have a good day and take care.